Hey everyone, in this video we will see how to set up CI CD using GitHub Actions for automatic deployment. So as you know this is our project repository, this is the demo microservices application of Spring Boot which we are going to deploy on EKS and automate the whole process of deployment. So to define the pipeline scripts in GitHub Actions you will have to create a folder of this path that is dot github slash workflows inside which you can define your pipeline scripts in the yaml format so as you know this is a microservices application of three microservices that is api gateway employee service and user service so for individual deployments i have written the three yaml files so let's take a look at it firstly the api gateway yaml file is to build and deploy the API gateway and as you can see from these lines that this pipeline script will get triggered for CI CD to happen only when there is a change committed in API gateway folder or in the API gateway folder inside the helm charts. So as you can see this is the API gateway folder when some code change happens here only then the pipeline script will be triggered or either in our helm charts there is an api gateway folder where our values related to deployment or services or ingress are present so here whenever the changes are made then the deployment will happen not when the changes are made in other services but only for api gateway and the first step of this job is to check out the code from the repository and then configure AWS credentials to log into your AWS account and uh, which gives access to the pipeline to create resources and whatever the steps that we are going to mention related to AWS here. That is basically building the Docker image and pushing it to Elastic Container Registry from where we will be picking up the image for deployment. So for this reason after you have configured with AWS then you will have to log into Amazon ECR that will be done here and then the next step is to build a docker image so if you can see here there is something called we have not directly specified these uh, um, sensitive information like AWS access key and secret access key also the repository name here uh, this can be managed using github uh, secrets I'll show you where that is so if you head to the settings of the repository there is something called set secrets and variables and here are the secrets related to actions that is github actions and as you can see these are all the secrets that we'll be needing for in this application for automation of the ci cd here so this this is how you can create click on your repository secret and your secret name and the value of your secret and you will be creating that so back to this that is how I have configured my credentials here and docker build image um, you can see it picks up the repository name as you can before this is done we will have to create a repository on ECR as you can see we have three repositories created for API gateway images and then the employee service image and user service image and this URI is what you will have to specify in the secrets so what this step does is docker build using the image tag that is this and the tag of the image will be the github uh, run id of this commit and uh, this is the main part that is you can see there's a flag f api gateway slash docker file because the docker file is not present at the root of this whole directory it is present inside the api gateway you can see here is a docker file so it, this step makes sure that it picks the correct docker file for building the image and this step builds the image and this will push the image to ecr using the repository that we have mentioned and then this is the important part that is it will update the cube config uh, so it basically associates the cluster uh, with kubectl so we will be able to um, run kubectl commands for managing the cluster on our EKS cluster 
and this is important if you are changing the name of your cluster then you will have to change this as well and this is for checking if it is if the cube ctl is correctly configured and the cube config file is updated then the last step is to deploy api gateway with helm so you can see helm if you have no idea on how to create helm charts i'll be adding an md file on that also all you have to do is uh, 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 type a command helm create and suppose api gateway is a service so helm create api gateway it will create all the files with basic templates and you will have to edit that and put in your own desired values something like this here we have our helm charts folder inside that this is our api gateway and let's finish this first so what this does is helm upgrade install api gateway from this play this is the part specified for where to pick up our helm charts that is in helm charts in the api gateway this is the path and what this does is it overrides the image tag to the github run run id so this way it will be easier to pick up directly when it is running so let's get to the helm charts and i'll show you this first file is chart.yaml this is a basic uh, file which has the metadata about this helm chart and this is a helm chart for deploying uh, api gateway and then we have values.yaml where all the values are here nowhere in the helm chart we will be using direct values like this so this this is advantageous because whenever there is any change related to our values or any main data then we all we have to do is come and edit it here and will not have to search individual files and all the files the like deployment and service files will automatically pick up from values.yaml and um, as you can see all the values are present here and with api gateway we will be creating an ingress uh, resource in the next video which will be an uh, application load balancer controller um we will do that in practically and then we will see that but for now i just have these values in place and for user service as you can see the service urls this is nothing but the kubernetes service and the port we have exposed we'll be seeing that in demo now and all the values are present here and you head to the templates like deployment.yaml you can see this picks up namespace is picked up from values dot namespace so if you head to values values dot namespace is test so deployment will pick up from there and values dot replica count is 1 so it picks up from there and this is how um we have configured and created helm charts and uh it's really similar for employee service and user service as well if you see here there is nothing changed except for this will be triggered only when there is a change committed to employee service folder and here also only when there are any changes committed to the helm charts related to employee service remaining all the steps are same but at the end this will deploy our employee service similarly we have helm charts for employee service and user service as well the user service file is also the same so you can take a look at this the link to the repository will be given in the description so now that we have these files in place we can head to our a terminal and try to deploy uh, try to see how this deployment will happen by purposefully triggering these services currently this is our cluster so using kubectl kubectl get all you can see this is the only service that is running on our cluster that is a default kubernetes service that is important for networking this comes by default so what we'll do is as we have seen previously in helm charts and deployment files we have uh, specified that we are deploying all these in the test namespace so let's go ahead and create that test namespace kubectl create namespace test this will create the test namespace so now let's check everything that's present in our test namespace you can see there are no resources found 
so let's go to the api gateway and suppose let's just make a small change in docker file nothing just adding a space here and commit change so this is us manually triggering the api gateway service for the pipeline to run this is for testing purposes and as you can see there is an actions running the job is getting created and all the steps that we have mentioned in our scripting file is being executed now see first was the code checkout then was to configure aws credentials and this will be picked up from the secrets that we have configured as a part of repository secrets and then log into amazon ecr and then it has built the docker image no sorry it's building the docker image later it will be pushing it to ecr and then deploying we'll see this will happen and api gateway should be created on our cluster the cube config file is also updated it passed the check as you can see here api gateway from helm charts is deployed as well and then the post to clearing jobs is happening for the clean up and yes this pipeline has executed successfully now let's run the same command to check if this resource is created yes as you can see one pod of api gateway is created and the service is also created and deployment is created this service as you know it will be defined in the helm charts obviously api gateway templates and service.yaml here we have the service services of node port currently but in the next video we will be will be creating an ingress resource for the api gateway service which will create an application load balancer using which we can access the application publicly so as you can see this has created it now now if we head back and trigger the other two services also in a similar way all the resources related to that will also be created these are just for testing purposes that we'll have to manually trigger it there will be another job also this got triggered and the pipeline is being executed looking at our docker files we have used docker multi stage build to keep the final image lightweight so this is an efficient way and i think now it should be done it push the image to ecr from which our helm charts will pick that up and deploy it yes even the employee service is deployed now let's check it again and we have employee service as well along with api gateway finally let's trigger the user service to make sure it's working
this will again trigger the pipeline that we have defined for user service. So one thing you will have to do is create the ECR private repositories before doing this because we will have to mention the ECR uh, URI for building and pushing of docker image. So this one thing has to be done manually. the docker image is being built and being pushed now the deployment is happening Yes, so the user service is deployed as well. Let's check it. Yes, as you can see now all our three services are deployed and they are running without any errors. And the services are also deployed. So in the next video we will be creating an ingress resource and associating with our API gateway. So that's it for this video. Thank you.